Okay, it is March 14th, 2022, 6 p.m. And this is the meeting of the Cable Advisory Ad Hoc Committee, uh, meeting at Town Hall. Uh, Paul Conley on the chairman, Susan Fox is also present. And on Zoom, we have Ken Stomsky, who's our director of Channel 15. And we have attorney Dan McKellick, who's town council, and Eileen Leahy, who is our Comcast cable representative. This meeting is being recorded. Okay, here we go. I guess I did that right. So Nicely done. Thank you very much. All right, uh, the first thing we're going to do is uh, I guess we could do public comments. Is there anybody out there that would like to do public comment? There is no public. Okay, there is no public out there, so we'll skip over public comment. And um, our first thing we're going to do is to uh, review and vote on the meeting minutes from December 1st of 2021. Real quick. And make a motion to accept the minutes. I will make a motion to accept the minutes. Uh, second that. Uh, this will be a roll call vote. Paul Conley, aye. Sue Fox, aye. Okay, minutes are accepted as well. Okay. want to start uh, just look at me. Okay. I know that we need to schedule a meeting in May or June. That'll be the public hearing. So we'll do that at the end of this or we'll do that yeah, in, the, in the future. Okay. Uh, just browse to the uh, Ken, uh, do you happen uh, from the minutes here you were going to make up a list of any upgrades that we might need to the public <laughs> channel. Do you have that? Um, a few weeks ago, I emailed uh, Gene um, a quote for the equipment it would take to add a second channel. Uh, it's in excess of $14,000. Uh, I don't feel right now that I need to add another channel, but I would like to be able to uh, exercise that option in the future. And that's something we have in the agreement. The, that's something we have in the current agreement, right? If we had chosen to exercise that, correct? Correct. <clears throat> yes, that exists already. There is a process that needs to be, you know, it can't just be a flip of a switch, but um, we have to petition them, uh, Comcast, and show a uh, show a need and um, and they'll be happy to accommodate, I'm sure. Yeah, I believe one of those needs is I have to have um, a certain percentage of actual programming instead of the uh, bulletin board system running. Correct. It'll take me a while to build up to that. Understood. <laughs> Are as the uh, franchise fee, are we anybody's feelings on that about remaining at the 1.75? I know that I don't want to increase the franchise fee. Okay. <laughs> My concern is. Uh, Everything is going up in price. Right now, currently, I am able to function and budget with what I need to order uh, at with uh, what we're taking in at the current rate. Um, as people do leave, as they uh, want to use uh, IoT, uh, other streaming uh, devices, we're, we're going to lose money coming from that franchise fee. So, um, 
I'm not going to be the one to say, you know, maybe you want to bring it up a quarter of a percent, but I just want to, to bring those facts to the table uh, for uh, any of your consideration. What's the timeline on your plan? You know, I mean, I understand that today we're good with your budget, and uh, but moving forward, are we thinking that we need to make accommodations in you know, year two, year three? The reason that I ask is the, the current agreement allowed for a, um, a step up in that rate, so to speak, a few years in. Um, and is that something that we'd be looking to at least entertain? Not that, not that we have to exercise the option because we didn't in this one, but um, just in case. And I'm assuming that Comcast would go along with that because they went along with it in the last agreement. Am I correct to assume that, Eileen? Yeah, I mean, we have to discuss it, but yeah, I mean, I don't really, I don't really see an issue with it, to be yeah. honest with you. I can see myself functioning right now uh, with the, the current funding coming in for the next two years. Right now, the franchise allows it in year three to go up to three and a half percent with written notice from the Board of Selectmen. It could go up to three and a half percent? In year three with written notice. Okay. Yeah, up to, you know, a maximum of three and a half. So you just go to two and a quarter or whatever. You know? Yeah. That's what you're saying. So I guess who was doing that? Uh, okay. Also, too, we were going to do an update on the buildings that needed to be uh, connected. Um, Ken, were you involved in that at all? Uh, no, I was not. Okay. All right. Do you have a list of anything like that? No. Not sure which that. buildings are connected or which are not. All right, I'll have to check with Carl on that. Right now, if you want to take it down, I can read them off to you. Okay. Oh, you have a list? <laughs> yeah, from the uh, current agreement. Um, it's Exhibit A of the current agreement. Yeah. Okay, and we have Powder Mill. We have Southwick Town Regional High School. We have the Regional School District. We have Woodland Elementary. Uh, for municipal buildings, we have the Fire Department. It's listed twice at 15 Depot. One of them, I guess, was formerly 11 and a half Depot. Yes, yep. We have the DPW. We have the police department. We have the senior center, 454 College Highway. We have the library at 95 Feeding Hills. Yeah. Town Hall, at 454 College Highway. And animal control at 11 Depot Rear. And, and just in case there are address changes for the DPW, that was 661 College Highway. Yeah. Fire department, I gave you both of those and the police department is listed yeah. at 11 Depot. I don't think there's any other public uh, buildings, but I could check with Carl. Um, everybody is uh, it's on. on. So yeah, 12, 12 total listed, and that is exhibit A of the current agreement. And while we're talking about that, maybe we could answer this to video origination locations. We have the regional high school, Southwick Public Library, and Town Hall. 
Okay. And I don't think they're all, they're not all connected. I don't believe. Library. And what are we calling that? The video what? Origination locations. Which as is, far as I'm yeah, aware. Those are all correct. Yeah, sorry, I have um correct. the only direct hookup uh, with the head end at Town Hall that, that serves the uh, plant. But the library and the high school are both origination locations as well. Yeah. I, I, I don't know where, where that signal ends up uh, terminating or how it's controlled. Uh, it's news to me it exists. Sure. Well, it probably we goes got... back to Town Hall and then from Town Hall it comes back to us. I'm guessing. Can but they're all they're all active origination locations. And I guess probably about the only, is there anything else anybody wants to discuss other than how long the uh, contract would be? Is there anything else? Ken, have you got anything else? I don't have anything else. I am curious about those uh, two other uh, sources, which uh, I'll be, it, it doesn't affect what, what you're doing here, but uh, I'll be uh, attempting to look into that in the near future. Okay. You, you never know what when a feed might might be useful if uh, it, if I can utilize something uh, for for you know, a live uh, feed at one of those locations if I need to it'll be it'll be good to know that that uh, some type of uh, hookup exists. Okay. Okay. Bye. I guess the only thing we've got to decide on is, is how many years we want to uh, do on the uh, contract. So that would be for discussion. Uh, I have been, and since the beginning, I think 10 years is too long. I was happy. I'm happy with the five years. I would do it shorter if I thought it would, I could, but I think five years seems to be place that I'd be comfortable with. I mean, you obviously want as long as you can get, right? <laughs> We're agreeable to five if that's what you want. Okay. Other than that, uh, do we have a copy of the contract? Is one been sent to the town? Is there a contract? The old, uh, it's on file. It's on file. I didn't okay. make it for right. you guys. Okay. All right. You'll be getting <clears throat> the binder from us <clears throat> probably within the next couple of weeks. Okay. Which is what we have to send. It's just, you know, part of the process. So there's a draft franchise in there. It's not our, you know, obviously it's negotiable what's in there, but, um, you know, I drafted a franchise and had, I had to put one in into the binder. So. You'll be getting that shortly. Yeah, I mean, I would, uh, I would lean with Sue at five, five years right now, and then uh, uh, get that forwarded to us, and then we can schedule the uh, public hearing. So, are you asking, what about the franchise fee? Are you guys asking to keep it at one point seven five with the right to increase it in year three again, the same terms? Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, I just want to okay. And then if something happens with Ken, uh, like you say, he can come back and uh, you know something comes up where, we're, where we are going to need more money or whatever to buy stuff, we can address that in the third year of the contract, correct? Yeah, there's a mechanism. It's just a letter from the select board asking that you, know, you want to increase the franchise fee. And I think it's, you know, we have 90 days to do that or within 90 days. Okay. Yeah. It's paid yeah, quarterly, seen. so yeah. it would be whatever that next quarter would be. All right, so
And you want this, the language in there regarding the second channel, if you want to. Correct. Okay. Yeah. In, in okay. essence, Eileen, I think we're asking for the same exact agreement. That yeah. We had last time. That's what it sounds like. Okay. That's good. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. So the, um, the only thing we'll need to do, I think, is get you a verification that it, uh, exhibits A and C are correct and up to date. Yeah, I think we agreed that they're at least origination locations. If we want to just make sure that I confirm, I mean, I confirm those with engineering, so I'm comfortable with those two. I mean, yep. okay. Um, and then just to make sure that we have the right addresses and the right um, municipal buildings. Yeah, and our, I'll I'll do an in, I'll do an audit on what a, what courtesy accounts there are. Okay. Get an updated list. And, and then, there may be some on there you don't want. I mean, you don't have to keep all those. I don't. They may not be used. I don't. I don't know. I think um, Carl, Carl will have to probably jump in yeah. on that. So, just something to Eileen, look at. Eileen, do you uh, have at your fingertips? Do you know how much we get right now per year for the franchise fee offhand? I could give you an estimate. Okay. Um, in 2018, you got fifty-two thousand five ninety-one. 2019 was fifty-seven thousand six hundred nine dollars and change, and 2020 was sixty-three thousand and six hundred and sixty dollars and change. Okay. When I so, did this, we hadn't finished out 21, so I didn't do it for the for this past year. Okay. No, I just that way there, Ken, Ken can have some figures to go by, yeah. and uh, you know, so we you know kind of know where we where we stand so all right um so is anybody got anything else that's otherwise we'll kind of we'll uh get the uh public hearing scheduled in the next three three weeks or so three or four weeks well do you want to wait for eileen to send us yeah well i want him her to send it send the thing into carl and uh we'll sit with them and then as soon as we're comfortable then we'll have the public hearing and we'll just go ahead and move Eileen, how long will it take you to get a draft of the uh, franchise out? So the binder, I, I just yeah. finished it last week and it went, I think it was going to the printers Thursday. Mm -hmm. So it's probably about a week turnaround, probably by next Thursday, you guys will have it. And I, let me just, let me pull it up. Hold on, give me my, I can pull up the draft franchise just so I can see how close it is to what we've talked about today. I'm guessing it's the same thing. So just give me one second. I can pull it up. Okay, so is she putting that up? It's a five year term. Yep. So I get to the right sections. Section six point one. Yep. Um Yep. Continue the one peg channel with the right for a second channel with the same parameters and conditions as the last franchise. Perfect. And then 6.4. 1.75% paid quarterly with the right to go up to three and a half percent in year three. Um, after letter from the board of selectmen, it will be implemented within 90 days. Yep. Perfect. And then 9.4 is 5%. The license fee is 50, 50 cents per subscriber, per subscriber. And then 5% in B. Yep. 
And then exhibit A has uh, the four schools and um, eight units. So I, there's no exhibit. Oh, I no didn't exhibits? Even, okay. No exhibits. I'm sorry. We'll have to do those. Oh, that's okay. That's all right. But the meat of the franchise is what we've talked about. I mean, there would, I mean, obviously, yeah, I know you're going to have to review because there are changes from the, um, it's probably a little bit cleaner, like less words, because we kind of renew, we redo our franchise just to clean things up every year. So, but the terms are, it's the same terms we've talked about. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you can let me know if you have any changes or any concerns with anything, we can go from there. All right. Perfect. So we're in so good shape. We get, get that out and then we can um, get a draft. Yeah. You know, have, a draft yeah. that we can have for review at town hall because as part of the public notice. Um, yep. A copy will go to the clerk, to the town clerk. You should get a copy. The cable advisory committee will get a copy. Can you email that or is it too big? Um, no, it, it's kind of too bulky because there's about. It's an actual binder, so. <laughs> it's like how, about put, how about put it on a thumb drive? I don't, I don't, I don't even send the binders out. They come from, um, I just lost my camera. Hold on. Oh, yeah, you um, shut your camera off. They do it the old-fashioned way, Gene. They send out three-ring binders. Yeah. <laughs> there you. What, what, what are those? We like that. <laughs> old-fashioned. Um, and anything else, Dan? Are you? Well no, I just, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's just the process that I'm just making yep. sure that we're following that, you know, through through. You know, we'll get the. Um, obviously, we need to get in touch with Carl and make sure that our exhibits are up to date, and yep. then they'll send out the binders. We can make whatever changes we need to and review what we need to. And, um, and that's all good. The, I guess almost like the formal draft is always nice to have for review. And then we'll have our public, we have to give our notice of our public hearing. We have yep. to coordinate with Comcast so they have a representative there. Yep. And then from there, um, the select board would need to run that meeting because they are the actual issuing authority. They will, they'll, they'll run the public hearing? <coughs> Correct, yeah. Okay. I think that the members of your, your committee, the advisory committee would be asked to be there, but yes. um, it is run by the, um, by the permitting authority, <laughs> in this case, okay. the select board. Okay. And, um, and yeah, it's just, it's, it's open to the public. Uh, Comcast gets an opportunity to speak if they'd like to, and, you know, share a few words with whatever's going on, what they're doing. And then it's a uh, public comment. And then the, um, then the board of selectmen will uh, go ahead and vote and um, sign off on it. And hopefully this is all done by September 29th, 2022. Yeah. <laughs> should be. We're good. Yeah. It should be. Yep. Yeah. Well, we just done sooner than that. So okay, yeah. perfect. So, Dude, I, call can, it. I can email you a copy of a draft of the franchise once um after the binder. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, I couldn't I couldn't email you the whole binder. Yeah. yeah. I can email That's the franchise. Um attorney McClellick, do they have to post a legal ad for the public hearing? Yes. Yep. Two okay. uh, meetings. And I have a sample I can send to you. Okay. Okay. Because I'm not sure, um, you know, because of the turnover and personnel in the select board's office, whether they um, remember or have something on file. Now, will your public hearing be, be in person or on Zoom? Are you doing them in person yet? Yeah, hybrid. I be both. Provided the legislator ex legislature extends the hybrid, I believe it goes to July 1st now. Okay. So if you're going to have that. I would think we would have the meeting before July. Oh, May and June, yeah, before yeah. July 1st. Yeah, well, yeah. so it'll, it'll uh, probably still be hybrid. Yeah, because okay. the public hearings may 
the legislature may require um, meetings to go back to all in person versus um, hybrids or all Zooms. Yeah. On I think July gonna, 1st, I think. Yeah. I think they're going to stay with the hybrids myself since we're so used to doing it now. But well, they should. Thing, so. Well, it seems right. to work better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So, Who knows what they do? Yeah. So I'm all set. Everybody else all set? And uh, we can move on. And... Yep. I'm good. Okay. Sounds okay. good. So, all right. to so adjourn. I'll make a motion to adjourn. And I'll second it. Roll call vote. Paul Conley, aye. Sue Fox, aye. Okay. 86.